Hey guys, and welcome to Number One E-Juice. We are a UK vape company with only one goal, to provide you with the best e-liquid and hardware from around the world. In today's video, we are very excited to unbox the Pulse 80 Watt Regulated Squonk Mod by Vandy Vape, designed by Tony B from the Vapor Trail channel. This is probably the most talked about device due to the squonking mechanism that's regulated by their very own Vandy Vape chip. Right from the top, you got your standard Vandy Vape packaging design with their logo on the top left and their title of the mod along with the Tony B signature underneath. These come in many selections of colors, which is silver and black or full black carbon fiber panels as standard. Or if you want, they have a selection of resin panels to choose from, which you can buy separately. I'm not 100% certain, but I believe they are doing custom panels. So you can be sure to see some really cool designs in the upcoming months now moving on to the top you have your vandy vape logo and the same for the bottom on the left you have your information regarding the color batch and ec id number along with the serial number and the scratch authenticity code which you can submit to vandyvape.com and simply input the code to find out if your product is genuine one more logo on the right side of the box and on the back you have all the product key highlights which is temperature control custom curve mode and supports 18 650 or 2700 batteries an 8 mil easy grip squonk bottle and of course the ability to go up to 80 watts with variable wattage control you have all your nicotine warning labels across both front and back and without any further ado let's get inside now sliding the top cover off you have your very simplistic product placement which is clean and simple just the way we like it we will get back to the mod in just a bit but for now let's see what's left in the box you have your usb cable for firmware upgrades only please remember to only charge your batteries using a usb cable for emergencies only it's never recommended to do this so please if possible grab yourself an external dedicated battery charger trust me this will save you in the long run now behind the plastic layer you have your quality control certification meaning it has passed every necessary check and it is at its higher standard before leaving the manufacturer you then have your warranty card so check this out to see how you are covered and finally you have your user manual which we always recommend to have a read and get familiar with the product you're using and now to the main attraction the mod itself is very light even with a single 18650 or a 2700 battery it's still very compact and light for a regulated squonk mod once you put your atomizer and fill up your e-liquid the weight will add up but overall it's still very light compared to most on the side you can see the carbon fiber panel which sits nice and tight across all all edges which is the same for the back on the front you have your nice size and clicky firing button your 0.91 inch OLED screen your plus and minus adjustment keys along with the micro USB port here you have your Vandy vape logo engraved and on the bottom you have your ventilation holes I believe they serve to ventilate the USB port for people who decide to charge this using the USB port and overall cool the entire logic board that's inside this makes sense as the battery ventilation from the squonking bottle cover is more than enough for the heat to escape from the battery now on the tub you have your 510 threads along with the gold plated squonk pin you could easily fit a 26 millimeter atomizer without any overhang now taking the cover off it's held together by two magnets and not only that because the cover is such a tight fit it makes it very secure so you can rest assured this will not pop out in your pockets or bags when traveling inside you can clearly see the positive down and negative up icons for correct battery placement you then have your 18650 to 2700 silicone adapter followed by an 8 mil squonk bottle which is super squishy and the quality overall is outstanding unscrewing the top cap you can remove the nozzle line and very easily fill it with your preferred e-liquid efficiently now on the housing you have the pulse vandy chip engraved along with the pulse diagram which i love the fact that they kept this from the original pulse mechanical squonker so let's throw in the battery and get this started up i'm using the 18650 battery adapter and once inserted you are greeted by a pulsing beat diagram followed by the logo and onto the main screen on the screen you have p for power followed by your wattage ohms reader and voltage meter with the battery indicator very simplistic and easy to read 
To navigate the menu, just click the firing button three times and you will enter bypass mode. Then temperature control for stainless steel, nickel, and titanium. And then back to power. To turn the device on and off, just hit the firing button five times. And same to turn it back on. Now to lock the device, and yes, I do mean lock it from firing as well. Just click and hold the plus adjustment key and the power button at the same time for two seconds. This will lock it from functioning entirely, so it won't accidentally fire when you're traveling. To get to the menu, just click the plus and minus key. You have five stages of do-it-yourself, aka custom curve mode, which you can have five different custom settings to regulate how you want it to fire per second increments. You can access the charts by clicking the firing button four times and use the adjustment key plus and minus to move up and down and then the firing button to move along the seconds. And when you're done, just hold the firing button and it will save it. And now next you have your voltage mode, which tops out at 8.5 volts and as low as 0.5 volts. You then have your Vandivape chip ID number and finally the firmware version. Now this mod is capable of 80 watts and can go as low as 5 watts. To flip the screen just hold the power button and the minus adjustment key at the same time and same to flip it back. Let's put an RDA on top with a 0.17 build because the cool thing about this Vandy Vape chip is it detects the best wattage for you to vape at just from the coils you use. I usually vape this between 50 and 60 watts so this is pretty damn accurate. I mean it really does work beautifully and I'm very impressed by their first Vandy Vape chip. Well done to you guys. Now the overall dimensions of this mod is 82 millimeters in height, 56 millimeters in length, and 27 millimeters in width. And guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. If you like it, please hit that like button as it really helps us out. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more of our content, comment if you have any questions or concerns. We are always here to help. And as always, hope you guys have an awesome day. This was Number One E-Juice.